Welcome to today's CRE lesson. We are looking at the ways in which God's power is demonstrated in the deliverance of the Israelites from Egypt, the promised land. So here we are looking at how the power of God is shown in the giving of uh, Israelites freedom as they move from Egypt to the promised land. Number one, God's power is seen in the ten legs that God brought on the Egypt Egyptians. Here we are talking about the plague of blood, frogs, nuns, flies, death of animals, oils, hailstorm, locusts, darkness, and the death of firstborn sons of the Egyptians. Number two, God's power is seen in the separating of the waters of the Red Sea. So, when Pharaoh discovered that the Israelites had left, he took 600 chariots, horsemen, soldiers, and pursued the Israelites. So here, he hoped to bring them back because he did not want to lose the slave labor. So Pharaoh's army soon came close to the Israelites because the Israelites saw a cloud of dust at a distance and knew that the Egyptians were after them. So, so how, how were the waters separated here? So Moses was told by God, Oyahweh ordered Moses to lift up his rod and stretch out his hand over the sea that was ahead of them. So a strong wind parted the water and the people of God crossed on dry ground to safety. Another way that uh, God's power is demonstrated is that in the killing the Egyptian during the crossing of the Red Sea. So after the Israelites crossed on dry land after the separation of the water, Arau soldiers who had also reached the sea began to cross. When they reached the middle of the sea, the water began to flow back and fill the path the Israelites had used. So the chariots and the horses could not move. So they tried turning back, but this was not possible. So God once again told Moses to hold out his hand over the sea, and the waters flowed over the Egyptians until none of them was left alive. So that's how we see in God, God's power when he killed the Egyptians during the crossing of the Red Sea. Number four, God providing water in the wilderness. So from the Red Sea, Moses led the Israelites toward Mount Sinai through the desert. And soon the people were thirsty and hungry. So Moses sought God's guidance in order to appease the Israelites. So at Mara, the bitter waters were turned sweet after God told Moses to throw a tree into the water. And also at Rephidim, God told Moses to strike a rock with his rod and water flowed from it, thus providing water to the Israelites. Number five, God's power is demonstrated in the provision of manna for the Israelites to eat. So the people of Israel lacked food while in the wilderness. And God provided manna, and each morning the people gathered for the day's portion. Remember that manna was a white seed-like substance that tasted like biscuits made with honey. Number six, there was also provision of quails for the Israelites to eat. The quails came in large flocks. So a quail is a round-bodied bird with a small tail. So these were provided to the Israelites, showing that God cared for his people. Number seven, God gave the Israelites victory over the Amalekites. So while at Rephidim, Israelites were attacked by men from the tribe of Amalek. So Moses had become too old to fight. So he asked Joshua, the son of Nun, to lead the people to battle. So Moses stood on a hill with his hands held out to God in prayer. Whenever Moses' hands were held up, the Israelites were winning the battle. But whenever Moses got tired and put his hands down, they lost hope and the Amalekites began to win. Aaron and Har held up Moses' hands and eventually the Israelites won. So defeat of the Amalekites showed that God had power. They had given victory to the Israelites. 
Number seven, or another way that God's power is demonstrated is God led the Israelites during the day with a pillar of cloud and during the night with a pillar of fire. Number nine, God gave the Israelites salvation from snake bites. So he saved them from snake bites. And at number 10, during the making of the covenant at Mount Sinai, God manifested himself physically. And what did he do? He told that on the third day, Moses took the Israelites to meet their God. God manifested his presence in form of thunder, lightning, earthquake, and a thick cloud that covered the whole mountain. There was also a loud trumpet blast that made the people tremble. So here is whereby Moses went, Moses went up the mountain and was given the Ten Commandments. So this showed that God had power because he manifested himself. Thanks a lot for subscribing and listening to me. God bless you.